I find you very rude. <laughs> Start the shit show. <gasps> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, just let yourself in, why don't you? I could have been doing all sorts. <laughs> Who does that? <gasps> Almost wet me knickers. Today, I am preparing a supper for Lord Braybrook's dinner party. That's if Marianne ever gets off her arse. I've decided to make a turbot. For this recipe, you will need... Turbot! Make sure to use your very best turbot kettle. I have heard of people using ordinary oven dishes and I just about died of embarrassment. Put in some nice fresh spring water. Don't use cistern as it could be stale. If you do that, you might as well just piss in it. As it's 1880, I thought I'd prepare Lord Braybrook a shot of arsenic and a bowl of lead. I often find with preparing food for the poor food. Mrs. Crookham, what? I, I burned the ginger biscuits, my darling. F sake. Well, look, there's a guided tour coming through here any minute. Just shove some digestives in a bowl. I think it's always best to use traditional means. Although I have been trying a new medication that's just arrived from the Americas. It's called cocaine. I must admit, it's not really helped my headaches thus far. Oh look, my enormous raisin friend. Mrs. Cravendale in the dairy has been busy preparing four gallons of milk for today's butter. That's an awful lot of milk in. I suspect her nipples are sore. That's the turbot in for about 45 minutes. Better check on the turbot. For lunch, I am preparing an almond and pepper sauce over braised ostrich. For this recipe, you will need almonds, cayenne pepper, and sauce. A medium-sized bird will take about 30 minutes. Anything the size of Mrs. Brockett, the housekeeper, will take much longer. I'm not one for trying out these modern kitchen gadgets, but I am told these are rather good. Oh no, hang on. What year is this from? I, I think this is right for the period. It's supposed to be 1880, isn't it? I, I think this is right though. There's literally a plug on it, Marianne. I can't work with this. Oh, I thought we were doing 1918. Go into the dairy. Take that and shove it up your oddly end. For the entree, I'm making rhubarb soup because lunch wasn't quite disgusting enough. Sylvia has already chopped and peeled the rhubarb for this dish, which is very kind of her as she is being hanged at three o'clock. It's a good job Marianne stole this basket from the laundry. Not because it'll provide any use for us, but we just can't stand the lady who works in the laundry, can we? That's my mum. There's always plenty to do in the kitchen, but you must remember to pause for a nice nutritious snack. Presentation isn't everything. After all, I am employed as a cook, not a confectioner. Besides, Marianne's mother looks a mess and someone must have slept with her. It's true, you will need a very large bowl for something like this. Perfectly large for when you're told there's gonna be 10 for dinner, but there's actually 14. Sweet revenge was mine. I had Marianne gob in the marmalade ice. Make sure to wrap your pudding in a clean piece of cloth. Now don't bother washing it. Christ, we're not eating this, are we? Shop bought pastry hasn't been invented yet. So I spent the normal daily four hours toiling over this. Turn it, fold it, twist it, and bop it. Bop it. Marianne is now going to put this in the oven for an hour and a half. No, don't re don't really. What? Put it in the Just... Oh for God's sake, give it here. It is important at this stage to remove the scum. Well, off you go then. Lady Braybrook's got athlete's foot. Be sure not to tell anyone. I do enjoy making this pudding. 
Might be because I really like work done with flyer. I could mill this flower myself from scratch, but I haven't the time today. I've got an asbestos bath this afternoon. It took me five months to make this. This cake is really beloved by all the servants. Too bad they're not having any. There we are. Boiled onion and raisin pudding with chocolate beetroots and some sort of meat. We are honoured at Audley End Kitchen today to have this bouncy little bunny with us for Easter. He's sure to be more help than Marianne. I find that bunny rabbits bring you such a wonderful sense of calm. And they work wonders in a meat pie. Today I'm making Devonshire squab pie. And to be honest, I'd rather be doing anything else. Squab means pigeon, although there isn't actually any pigeon in it. It's not from Devonshire either. Come to think of it, it's not even a pie. I've read in the Weekly Gazette that the Queen loves Devonshire squab. But then I've also read that it's safe to give babies absinthe, so who the hell knows what to believe? This Devonshire squab pie will be just right for Lord and Lady Braybrook's dinner party that they're throwing tonight for Jack the Ripper. I've prepared kedgeri for breakfast. Although to be honest, I don't really want to serve this because it does look like it's been run over. Lord and Lady Braybrook have got a VIP over this afternoon. It's Little Miss Muffet. Mary Ann, take these curds and whey out to her. I suspect she'll be sitting on a tuffet. What's a tuffet? Well, it's like a sort of giant mushroom. What is that? Oh, fuck. You did this. You? Just don't want to show people your hair. Oh, she's going on about her hair because she's in the middle of dyeing it. And don't think that's... I haven't noticed that's why you put that on. It's fine. I just don't want a million comments like, Oh, never could use a toner. She looks like Eminem a little bit. It's a work in progress. It's rolled around in some toothpaste. Ah, Nova, don't you love it here at... All the end house and gardens. I thought you were going to be like, having a wonderful time at the Clams Casino. <laughs> Isn't this a wonderful party? I hope you're enjoying the Clams Casino. Right, so that was Mrs. Crocombe and... Marianne, the wench. Yes. I think you did a wonderful turn as Marianne. Thanks. Um, we're both stupid, <laughs> dim, um, useless. Not, yeah, not helpful at all in any capacity. If you are unaware of Mrs. Crow can be you watch this whole thing, then you must be thinking, what the fuck? She, she has a series on English heritage, so there will mm. be a link in the description below. Yes. Love her. She's played by an actress and historian called Kathy Hipperson, who I just adore so much. So if you've seen this, Kathy, or anyone at English Heritage, please don't like have us stuck off. <laughs> it's all done with love. All of our parodies are always done with love and appreciation. Mm. So I hope you enjoyed it. There'll be a small clip as always on Twitter. If you want to go try and share it, maybe they'll see it. Maybe they'll see it. Oh God. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, this is the sort of dumb shit that we do. Uh, we've got some patron birthdays. So for April 29th, happy birthday to Kenneth and Janine. Hope you had gorgeous days. Dan was on April 30th. Happy birthday, Dan. Um, and Tara was May 1st. Happy birthday, Tara. Happy birthday, Tara. Michelle, May the 3rd. It was your birthday. Happy birthday, Michelle. Um, May the 3rd hasn't happened yet. <laughs> Well, normally we record like a week in advance. I don't know where you're living, in your mind's head headspace at the moment. Um, and then for May 5th, Michael Henderson. Happy birthday, Michael. Happy birthday, Before Michael. Um, we're wearing some legendary creature merch here, which is available oh, yeah. at novimpia.com or on the Teespring link below. And That's be... available on Teespring. This is available uh, at novimpia.com. There'll be a message afterwards if you want to join the Patron. And when we get to a thousand, we're going to do what, Nova? The Asshole Race. Season three of Novimpia's Asshole Race. Which, which... will be a Patreon exclusive as well. So just saying. Why do you, why do they want that? Why do you want it? Oh, it's so, <laughs> get out, get out. I find you very rude. <laughs> the Novimpia Chanel is made possible by our gorgeous patrons and help us get to a thousand for the release of season three of Novimpia's Asshole Race. And a turbot to our brand new patrons, AMC986, Ryan Waller, Sophia Alcada Nilsson, and Dora Mother of Angron, Niall Russell, Jason, Philip Hamilton, Grogan, Graham, Chris Lamb, Alvi, Stained Raindrop, Heather Santolano, Simon Says I Am, SM Sims, and Dustin Barbie. Join the Patron, we'll do a shot of Patron.